So for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a nice rainbow text effect in Photoshop. So to start off with as always go to file new and I'm going to call mine rainbow effect um, with 500 height 500 background white so once all your settings are exactly the same as mine hit ok. Um, Make sure your foreground is white, the background is black, and then hit Control and Backspace to make your white into black. Then get your text icon, click on that, 100 point crisp. Um, I've got the uh, text, it's have a bar. If you want this text, I'll put a link in the description so you can have it as well. And then just type in rainbow. To get this into the middle, go to your background layer. And press Ctrl and A to select all of that. Go back to your text layer. Click on the move tool in the top left. Click on this middle one and then this middle one as well. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect that. Now you want to rasterize this. So right click rasterize. And then select your rectangular marquee tool which is, should be here. If it's not, hold down on that and select it. Uh, then highlight your first letter which is R just like that and then press Control, Shift and J so that rectangle you've just formed is created into a new layer now uh, right click on this or on blending options and colour overlay when it comes up colour overlay um, change the colour to 800 CB6 so you've got a nice purple R there uh, press OK and OK again now go back to your rainbow rainbow layer, text layer, get the rectangle tool again and highlight your A. And one that's not highlighted all of it. To get rid of that I just press Ctrl Alt and Z, which basically does a step backward. So highlight the A. It's a bit better. Control Shift and J again. Right click, find an option, this colour overlay. Um, and then I'm going to just delete that. Got on the rainbow, sorry that's why, because when I press Control, Alt and Z it went on the la onto layer 1. So every time you make your new rectangle, make sure you're on this rainbow layer. Highlight that A again. Control, Shift and J. So it should, should work now, but the options. Color overlay. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, the colour for this one is 074D9D and you've got a nice blue there. OK and OK again. Go back to your rainbow layer. I like the eye. Control Shift and J again. One of the options. Colour overlay. Uh, the colour for this one is 049. 6B7. Okay, and okay again. That's the rainbow. Highlight the M. Control, Shift, and J. On the options. Color overlay. And this one will be 00992B. Um, I know this is getting a bit tedious, but the effect that you get for the end result is definitely well worth it, so I'll just stay with you. So I'll just keep doing this. So you've covered all your letters with the different colours. Control Shift and J. Find an option, just play again. This one will be 8C9 F09. Well, that's the verge from green to yellow, so the next one, of course, is going to be yellow. Okay, scroll down back to the rainbow layer. Highlight that O. Control Shift and J. This layer, blend in colour again. And this colour will be 955405. That nice orange colour. Back to the rainbow. So the last letter now to colour them. 
Control Shift and J. Find the options, follow all below. And Line O ninety nine. So there you go, that's the last letter done now. Um I want to merge all these separate layers. So with place I'm selected, hold shift, click on all of these other layers, and then right click and merge them, merge layers. And now you want to duplicate this layer, so right click on that, duplicate layer, and call it whatever you want. Go back to your original layer. Go on filter and blur, motion blur, angle minus 90 and distance 100, and hit OK. Go back onto the copied layer and select load selection and press OK. And that just selects all of these colors. And we only want the top half of these, so on your rectangular marquee tool again while holding shift just select the bottom half don't have to be perfect so now you've just got the top half there um, now go to your gradient tool um, you want foreground transparent ok holding shift again hold from the top to the bottom and then control and D to get rid of that uh, so that's basically it now, and just to enhance this rainbow text here, um, on the copied one I think it will be, right click, one in options, and put a stroke on it, yeah there you go, so put a stroke on it of about 3, that's ok. And there you go, that's your basic rainbow text effects, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you have fun copying this effect which I've just done by